<laughs> See? Anyways, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RDA. Obviously, I missed yesterday's match reaction after Cristiano Ronaldo won us the game just being him himself, being what I love him for, remember him for, grew up watching. Just the absolute clutch master himself, Cristiano Ronaldo. I think Moloto said it, everything we needed to say in the match reaction, you know, he's the GOAT. He's, you know, his doubters once again get sat down and um, you just, you cannot doubt this man, you cannot fault him. He's an absolute GOAT of the game. I have to make sure you can see the Ronaldo shirt in the background, of course, but um, yeah, I had a good evening yesterday. I never miss a game, still, I still did watch it. I sent Moloto my thoughts and everything. But yeah, <clears throat> let's get into it, huh? Tactical analysis straight away, you know, Viva Ronaldo. Sofasco gave him a 9.7. That was the last time we remember um, any United player get such a high rating, you know. We obviously gave him 10s, 11s, give him whatever you want because you're simply flawless. Absolute goat of the game. Played 83 minutes and scored, of course, an amazing hat-trick. The first goal of which was absolutely ridiculous. That was, you know, one of, a legend, one of the legendary Ronaldo goals I have seen and it's not the first time he's done something like that he does have that in his locker second goal was one of my favorites I love a tap in you know everyone knows I love a tap in if you're watching this channel so happy days you know Sancho again on the wing getting an assist amazing easy goal for Ronaldo you expect him to convert for that we need to create more chances like that for Cristiano and then finally we scored from a corner and that was his hat-trick, and it's almost like a perfect hat-trick, you know, it's got everything for Ronaldo written all over it, you know. Couldn't have done much more. Long-range goal, headed goal from a corner, and a tap-in. Happy days! I'll take that every day of the week, and that's what Ronaldo can do. That's what I'm saying, you know. It's easy to criticize Ronaldo, but when he's playing with, you know, to be... Not to be disrespectful, but the rest of the United yeah, plays, you know. It is, a bit, it is a bit hard for Cristiano Ronaldo, but... um. Nevertheless, he still comes and he still shows everyone that he's a professional and is an absolute beast of a man, you know. So let's move on to them. Five shots, so two of them off target, one blocked, and he did score three goals from the five shots. Um, no dribbles attempted, which is, which I don't really mind. Um, we, you know, we're not gonna really want Cristiano to do that. Maybe you know a few here and there, but not not too much of a problem. Touches 54. Um, seems a little. It does seem a little, but um. Oh, he did make those 54 touches count, that's for sure. I think every United player, I mean, every United supporter has, could say, you know, at least this time, even without the goals, Ronaldo was really good today. Oh, yes, they should I say. Um, accurate passes, this is where I really like it. Nine, 38 out of 40 passes completed, 95% um, success rate. Happy days, his link-up play, like I, th like I say, I think it was flawless. I think he really held the ball up well in the game against Spurs. And I think, you know, it's everything that... um. He's been kind of missing in the past few games, you know, and he comes back, you know, after his trip to Portugal or whatever it was, yeah, you know, he looks like he maybe had the hip flexor problem also looks like it's a bit better. Ralph said he trained really well and he's going to start, he was going to start in the Spurs game and that's what Ronaldo delivers, so happy days, um, no crosses, um, one long ball accurate, um, ground rules one, one out of two, that doesn't really matter too much, and then three out of four, aerial jewels one in the air, of course, you know, it's Cristiano Ronaldo, so you'd expect him to... Um, Win quite a lot of um, his aerial jewels, you know, just because of the, the nature of how he is. But, um, yeah, other than that, it's just, you know, defensive stats, which doesn't really mean that much as from Ronaldo. But then you look at that heat map. There's a large, there's lots of, like, larger blobs around the whole field. But I like the one in the box. That's where we want Ronaldo a lot. And for, I think, for the first time in so long since we've been discussing Ronaldo, you know, we can finally say that, you know, we need more of that. He usually hasn't been in the box as much, but, um, he got into the box um, against Spurs and he got his goals for it. But then you can still see who is there drifting to the right, drifting to the left, very deep. Obviously, sometimes I know I was with Marcus and Clay and um, we were watching the game on the phone by my friend's 21st birthday. And we were just like, you know, sometimes you're just like, why is Ronaldo playing CDM? You know, it was frustrating at some times. But um, overall, I thought Cristiano Ronaldo was absolutely ridiculous. He was flawless. Cannot criticize him one bit against Spurs. And I think that's, um, that's just almost like a... How can I say? A reality bite, you know, a reality shock to everyone to, that doubts Cristiano, you know. He will sit you down eventually. I mean, he's 37 years old and he can still have games like that. It's pretty pretty good. And just like that, you know, second in the Premier League goal scoring and, you know, all of a sudden it's looking good, you know. People were saying, I apologize to Ronaldo, but uh, come on. If anyone is a real Ronaldo, 
you know, fan, they they know this is how it is. You know, he will sit you down eventually. But I'm I'm happy. I'm very very happy, very very happy. Did the C on my TikTok as well. You know, I promise if you got a hat trick, I do it. So there we go. If you guys want to go check it out, go check it out. Feel free to do that. But um, yeah, great max reaction for Beloto. I'm sorry I missed it, guys. But I am back. I am back, and we will keep the content right up now. So. Do smash like in the video, do subscribe if you're new also to tell me what you thought of the Spurs game and specifically Cristiano Ronaldo. I'd be very interested to um, read your thoughts. So let me know let me know in the comments below. I shall see you guys very soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Goodbye.